What's up everyone, it's Hey John and I Jabber Opportunities Nonstop. Today, we will be discussing the ongoing onslaught on Bitcoin. We will be covering Evergrow Coin, and of course, the news and technical analysis. So let's go ahead and jump into it so we can see what's going on. The question is, should you, should we be afraid? Kazakhstan shuts down banks, internet, amid unrest that threatened Bitcoin mining hash rate. Ladies and gentlemen, right there with that news headline, it's going to cause fear and panic among the retail investors. And the reason why this will cause fear and unrest in the retail investors is because they are not understanding how cryptocurrency works. Just because Kazakhstan is quote unquote, turned off because the internet is turned off. And as you know, Kazakhstan is one of the second largest countries in the world where you can mine, guess what, Bitcoin. A lot of the Chinese miners moved from China to, guess what, Kazakhstan. And they essentially took a lot of power from the grid to mine, guess what, Bitcoin. As I said before, we have green energy in use, renewable like solar, hydro, wind power, etc. But the end of the day, it's all about fossil fuels because that is the most stable energy source. Well, guess what? If it's not windy, no more wind power. If it's not sunny, guess what? No more solar power. So just think to yourself for a second here. Okay, it's a regular day. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. sunshine. 5 p.m. to midnight, no more sunshine because it's nighttime, right? Obviously, it's a very simplified example, but this shows and exposes the weakness of solar and what happens if it's not windy? Because winds aren't always, quote unquote, that reliable. Obviously, these people do a lot of research to place these windmills on certain places where the wind always circulates. But you know what? Things happen. We live in climate change, believe it or not. I know there are many folks who don't believe in it. That's fine too. Hydropower is pretty reliable until the water runs dry. Think of the Hoover Dam in Las Vegas, Nevada. Fossil fuels are quite reliable. And we know that coal, natural gas, and oil, believe it or not, there's still an abundance of it, even though we are going through our supplies. But again, this is not FUD, folks. This is just highlighting that the power grid is currently not in a renewable state yet. Even though we have initiatives and we are moving towards the direction, we aren't there yet. It's going to take time, folks. I want to cover this chart with you guys because it explains illiquid versus liquid supply of Bitcoin. So what does illiquid supply mean? Essentially, this means that these are Bitcoins that are being bought from the central exchanges and taken off market. You can see from May 21 to January 22, we are seeing a steady increase in the price of Bitcoins being bought OTC over the counter and being removed from guess what? The central exchanges. So usually speaking, when you see more illiquid supply as in more Bitcoins being bought off market, you see an increase in the Bitcoin price. But now we are seeing an inflection point where you're seeing a cross between the illiquid supply being bought up, seeing Bitcoins being taken off the market, and we're seeing guess what? Bitcoin price getting reduced. Now there's a reason for this folks. Let me go ahead and share with you guys. Okay, folks, look at the Bitcoin obituaries. We can see it right here, folks. Look at number 15. These are the headlines, folks. The Bitcoin delusion at 67K. Bitcoin is an AOL of the cryptocurrency market, 63K. Bitcoin is nothing but a Ponzi scheme, 57K. Bitcoin could become worthless. Bitcoin is a scam, which will only end in tears. And you can see, folks, so every time we see these hit articles come out, guess what? Bitcoin is further reduced and further pushed down because people believe in these titles. The Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index has increased to 18 from 15. And you have to wonder why. Well, let me show you guys. We can see again on the Bitcoin liquidations here, we're seeing an increase in volume. Yesterday, 186 million were sold. Today, obviously the day is still going, you're seeing 397 million sold. So what does this mean, folks? It means they're still continuing to sell, but we are hitting a key inflection point. Okay, folks, here we are on the Bitcoin chart on a daily perspective. Let me go ahead and zoom in. 
So we can see that Bitcoin has tested the $40,828 support zone. It hit it and then bounced off. It's evidenced by this wick right here, folks. So this means that when Bitcoin got around to 40828 many technical traders saw this pattern and said, you know what, when it gets at around there, I'm going to buy some. And they did exactly that. And now we're seeing a push up for Bitcoin. Traditionally speaking, this has been a very strong buy point. So if I zoom up for you guys, we can see that we traded here also, guess what, on September 2021, July 2021, of course, June and May of 21, and again at February 21 and January of 21. So this $40,828 zone is a very familiar zone to folks because they want to be swing trading it. However, though, we can break down below and test 30,000 again. That could happen, but in my opinion, does not seem likely. So I wanted to emphasize a point of the convergence of the illiquid supply and the price of Bitcoin, we're seeing a cross. Basically, we're seeing more Bitcoins being taken off the market, being bought on OTC. And then we are also seeing a strange phenomenon. We're seeing Bitcoin price also get reduced. Traditionally speaking, when you remove supply, usually the price goes up. But this time we're seeing something different here. We're seeing price drop and plummet while the supply reduces. I've been in a stocking for a very long time and this is what you call buy the news and sell the rumor. The news is currently saying we're sinking, we're sinking, we're sinking and these are traditional tactics used by large hedge funds to push down the price so they can get what they want. Meanwhile, in the background, they're buying. Shh, don't tell anybody, right? It's hilarious. This trick is so obvious. Now on the stock market, the data is not as prevalent because you have to pay for it and to get access to this privy data. But on the blockchain, the data is all there for you. Anyone can investigate if they want to. So in that sense here, it's more obvious if you're aware of it. So we're seeing hedge funds come in. You're seeing on the news, you're seeing folks say, yeah, Bitcoin to 100K, Bitcoin to $1 million. And then on the flip side, you're seeing tons of hit articles pushing the price down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a clear sign that Bitcoin is far from dead. This is not a time to be selling your Bitcoins. But of course, nobody knows the future. But if you base it on basic supply and demand here, which I do, when you see more supply being bought up and taken off the market, and you see the price actually decrease with it, well, folks, this is a recipe for disaster for the folks selling. This is literally just large whales looking to get some more BTC, Bitcoin for cheap. Now we're seeing Kazakhstan with a hash rate decrease. Okay, fantastic. But the thing is that even if the hash rate decreases, as you know, Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency. So what that means is that even if you take Kazakhstan down, one of the largest miners, guess what? We have other places like Texas, we have places in Europe, etc etc they will pick up the slack and they will get more mining rewards this is nothing to be concerned about decrease hash rate okay i get it but nothing to be concerned about because this will be a temporary blip in the long term of bitcoin short term it could be a little more volatile but long term though it's a-okay -okay. now you have to ask yourself the main question here are you a long-term or short-term investor if you're like me then this is nothing but noise and a fantastic buying opportunity. Of course, this is not financial advice. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and cover Evergrow coin now. We can see on a daily perspective, we have pulled back some from yesterday. The current price is at around 1225. Now, you're wondering, okay, hey, John, what's going on here, right? Well, you know what, folks? I would say this is still a phenomenal start in 2022. Case in point, we were literally at 694 about seven days ago. We went to about 1630. So we literally increased the price by almost 200%, almost 2x the price. And now we pulled back to 1225. So from 694 to 1225, that's almost still a 100% gain. Now, why are people selling? Simply put, because day traders are day trading this. They bought in at the bottom. They consolidated for a little bit. They saw a pop of 2x guess what? They took some profit. Okay, folks. So the real question is, should I be concerned about Evergrow coin? 
Well, let me ask you a question. Why would you be? When I pose a question saying, why would you be? It's simply put because we're seeing Krator being pushed out to other folks outside the inner circle of the Evergrow coin development team. And soon thereafter, in a few more days, we're going to see it being pushed out to the wild, to other YouTubers and other folks to test it out. And then we're going to see the 10 major influencers getting pushed onto Krator, thereby increasing the EGC reflections. So in my opinion, this is nothing more than a dip buying opportunity. And the reason why we saw a huge flash crash is because, well, as you know, in cryptocurrency, people are very new to the game and this will be their first investment in any asset class. And they basically sold their whole bag right away, which is fine, but there are better ways to do it. If you've seen Tesla, Elon Musk here, when he sold his Tesla stock, did he sell everything and one sell? No, he did it over a few weeks. And he told everyone, hey guys, I'm selling my Tesla stocks and I'm selling every single day. A little by little by little by little by little. The stock did pull back some, but we didn't see a huge flash crash. So folks, if you want to learn anything, learn that Elon Musk is a very smart man. And if you want your maximum price, you sell in sprinkles. Okay, folks, it is as simple as that. Get $250 in Bitcoin using my block buy link down below in the description. Get two free stocks courtesy of Webull. Get $25 in Crypto Crow using my links and referral codes down below in the description. I want you all to leave the keyword 300 because that's one of my favorite movies and I want to know who are the real ones. I know I'm not going anywhere. Are you going somewhere? And most importantly, have an awesome day, and I will catch you all on the next one.